when you see 20% in the forecast, what do you think that means? Okay, so this is tricky. 20%, there's 80% that it's not gonna happen. Every time I've ever seen any kind of percentage, I'm like, well, it's gonna rain, even if it's just a tiny bit or in selective areas. 20% of the area might get rain. The percentage is kind of like an average. So I know that it's going to rain. Meteorologist Hannah Strong here to explain one of the most common misunderstandings in our forecasting, the chance of rain. When you see a percentage, a 30 or a 20% like this on your seven day, Clearly everyone has a slightly different idea of what this means. So we're going to clear this up today and talk about what we actually consider when making this forecast. So first we're going to use 20% as our example today. That 20% takes several things into consideration, though the textbook definition is just coverage of the rain or snow, coverage times confidence. There's a lot more that goes into it. First off, how much area we're talking about. We here at WDRB forecast for 33 counties across Kentucky and Indiana. So we have to consider the chance of rain across that whole space. As much as I wish the 20% on the seven day was 20% for your home, it's actually a 20% chance of rain for the whole coverage area, but it's more than that. Second, we have to look at how long it's going to rain. An all day rain versus a 10 minute pop up shower gets you a totally different percentage on the seven day. We also need to consider what time of day this is happening. Impacts to rush hour or big events are likely going to earn you a bigger percentage on that seven day. And then third, we look at how heavy the rain will be. Small rain totals like this will earn you a smaller percentage on the seven day. Think about this example. Two inches of rain over 24 hours looks very different than two inches of rain over just one hour. And that's going to bring you different impacts. Impacts are also a big part of how we come to that percentage that you see on the seven day. Confidence is a big part of it. It's part of that basic formula. But again, no formula factors all of these into consideration. If we are very confident in a forecast and it's a slam dunk, we're going to reflect that with a higher percentage. If we're still unsure and that system has not formed yet, that's going to be a smaller percentage until we have more confidence in the forecast. And the last note here says history. We do take into account what has gone on leading up to that rain chance. If it's been a while since we've seen rain, we don't want to over promise rain when it's something that you desperately need. And finally, to clear the air, we don't use higher numbers to scare you or to drive ratings. We just give you the honest forecast as we see it. A human is making that forecast. And so a quick note for you about what you see on television versus what you see in your app. The seven day forecast on TV is made by a human, the meteorologist who is sharing it with you. If you use our WDRB weather app and the location is set to Louisville, you are also getting that human made forecast made by a meteorologist. If the location inside your WDRB weather app is set anywhere else outside of Louisville, or if you're using that preloaded weather app on your phone, you're getting model data generated by a computer and you can tell the difference. If your rain chances are rounded to the tens, 10, 20, 30%, that's from a human, from one of us here at WDRB. If your rain chances are calculated down to the single digit, like 37 or 23%, that's from a computer. The bottom line is you just want to know, is it going to rain on me or not? And if I could speak to each of you individually, I could give you that information. But because it's our responsibility to forecast to more than a million people around the Louisville metro area, we have to use these probabilities to communicate a range of what's possible. Now to make this a little bit easier for you, anything above 50%, you should plan on seeing rain. Maybe not for the entire day, maybe not the heaviest rain you've ever seen, but something above 50% should tell you that rain is pretty likely. Anything below 50% is not likely to affect you in quite the same way. So think maybe less rain during a smaller portion of the day or something that's just not going to be quite as impactful. So when you're thinking in the binary, is it going to rain? Yes or no? Something above 50% should be more like a yes. We are expecting rain. Anything below 50% should lean closer to no. You shouldn't plan on seeing quite as much rain today.